how to create a journal using Canva templates for Amazon KDP. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a journal using Canva templates and without having to use any third-party applications for images or graphics, how you can create an entire interior and a exterior book cover as well. So let's get into it. First off, if you go to the kdp.amazon.com website, you're going to choose your model or your size that you're going to create. So usually I like to go with a six by nine size with around a hundred pages and maybe uh, white colored paper and for you can also opt for cream colored paper if you want but I would not recommend it because it doesn't show up as nicely as white paper does so after that you're going to download this template and it's going to be a zip file you're going to extract that file and it's going to have a little canvas for you to work on. So after you have extracted that file, you're going to go back on here to Canva and on Canva, you're just going to click on custom size and then you are going to convert it from pixels to inches. Make sure you do that because it's usually set to the default as pixels. And if you put in pixels, it's obviously going to distort your book cover. You're going to convert to inches and then you are going to add six and then you're going to add more to it. So you have to account for the thickness of your book cover. You're going to have to account for the bleed, which is basically the edges where the paper is going to be cut. So the bleed for most book covers is 0.25 in terms of height and width. And for the width of your book cover, obviously this is not for the interior of the book. You're going to add as much thickness as your uh, number of papers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on six by nine design and I'm gonna show you guys what the actual size of a six by nine book cover should be by using a template. If I go over here in my uploads, I have my template uploaded. Yeah, here we have it. So I'm going to zoom in to show you guys. You can see if you're trying to create a six by nine book cover, you have to account for this area. And this is the basically spine. So 6.29 plus 25, that's around 6.5, I guess. Yeah, so this comes out to around 6.54 and then the height of the book, obviously the height has to only account for the bleed, which is this red portion and which is also 2.5, so it's going to be 9.5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Canva, I'm going to put in 6.54 and 9.25. And just like that, you're going to add your size your canvas size and obviously this is going to vary according to the number of pages that you add so i have chosen like 100 pages or 120 pages if you have maybe 200 pages obviously the thickness of your spine is going to be different and you're going to have to do your own calculations it's very easy just add your entire six plus six so that's going to be 12 and 12.54 12 so you're just going to create that design because you're creating an entire book cover and you want to make sure that you are doing this accurately because if you select the wrong kind of size for your canvas on Canva, you can design your entire book cover, but once you get it published, it's going to look distorted, things are going to look off. And that is why I suggest that you do the extra, you know, spend the extra time to actually thoroughly calculate the size of your book cover because making interiors is very easy on Canva, but designing your book cover is the only portion of your Amazon journal that really does take a lot of time and you really want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Now, over here, you can see our canvas has been loaded, so it's 12.54 into 9.25 what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the uploaded template that i had that i downloaded from here amazon kdp and i'm going to open it up on this page you can see over here i'm going to place it in one corner and i'm going to expand it and if you measured your sizes correctly it's going to fit in perfectly now once i do that i like to lock it in or first make it semi-transparent so i can use it as a guide without having it disrupt my designs too much and have it add some transparency and then lock it locking it enables me to not move it whatsoever once i have done that i just go into elements here on canva and i search for 
background. And if you already have a specific background idea in mind, you can apply that as well. I'm just going to take a look at some of the popular backgrounds here on Canva and I'm going to pick one from them. Now you can see over here, this is like a dyed kind of look. It would look like a pretty decent book cover and I'm just going to apply it and resize it over here. And I'm also going to make this transparent so I can start adding some details. Now once I have added my basic background, I am going to text. And I can either use one of these font combinations or add my own kind of font. So I'm going to take a simple font and I'm going to write this journal too. And once I do that, I'm going to change up the font. I'm going to capitalize my letters. And then obviously you can see this is the reason I keep everything semi-transparent is because now I'm going to use this as a guide to make sure that I place the book cover centers directly on the center. Once I have added my text, I am going to click on elements and you can obviously change up your text. You can click on effects. You can make it hollow. You can have some shadows on your text or whatever you might feel like looks good. I am just going to make it hollow and I'm going to change the font as well. This looks good. And then I'm going to click on elements. I'm going to search for square. You can use a simple square on the lines and elements on Canva. Just open up any kind of square. And then I'm going to resize it and make it a rectangle. And I'm going to place it just below this text that I have added. I'm just going to make it like a similar size to the text. And once I have done that, it's going to allow a space for the user to write their name or the person that buys the journal to write their name. Once I am finished designing my journal, I'm just going to make it non-transparent. And then I'm going to change the color of my text and my square block as well. So I'm going to change the color of the text like so. And now I have designed my book cover now. After designing your book cover, you're just going to download it as a PDF and you're going to be ready to go. But now that you have designed a book cover, you're going to design the internal papers. So for the internal papers, you don't have to account for the bleed or anything. You're just going to put in six by nine inches. You're going to click on create new design. And if you're making lined pages, you can do that by using a interior copy paster. And I'm going to leave a interior website in the links down below where you can copy and paste book interiors, empty book interiors. Or if you are looking to do this a bit differently, you can just click on elements. You can click on lines and shapes. Just click on this simple line or a dotted line if you like that. You're going to place it over here. Then you're just going to expand it, turn it into gray because no lined paper is actually totally black. Adjust the line thickness if you want. I find that this line thickness is fine. Click on Ctrl C and Ctrl V and just place it down below. So you can do that as well. And it doesn't take a lot of time and once you create a single page, and then you can even add some more sections, so things I'm grateful for or um, events from today, anything like that. If you want to add that to your journal, you're just going to click on text. We're going to add some simple text like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and I'm going to write doodles for the day. I'm going to place it at the center and I'm going to leave the rest of the page empty or I'm just going to place it a bit to the bottom left like this. Now, after that, you can also duplicate this page like this, if you click on this. So you're going to duplicate this page and then you can alternate pages as well by designing a slightly different page. For example, if I go over here and maybe I'm going to click on lines, I'm going to search for lines. I'm going to add this little cute kind of design to the top of the page. I'm going to expand it. Then I'm going to add this flower design to one corner 
And like this, you have like a differently designed page in your journal as well. Once you have enough pages for your journal and you've designed enough, you're just going to duplicate all these pages. So if I have a hundred pages, I can duplicate those or I can save like 10 copied pages into a single PDF and then I can just duplicate that PDF 10 times. Once you do that, make sure you save this as a PDF directly. Make sure that you download this as a PDF print here on Canva because I feel like if you download it in any other form, publishing it on, on Amazon KDP can be a bit difficult. So once you do that, you're just going to be ready to combine both your cover page or your uh, journal cover and your journal interior and you're going to be ready to go. So uh, that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.